With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, two waves traveling in opposite direction produce a standing wave. The individual wave function are given by y1 equal to 4 sin 3x minus 2t and y2 equals to 4 sin 3x plus 2t centimeter where x and y of course given in centimeter. So now we have given y1 equal to 4 sin 3x minus 2t right and y2 is given 4 sin 3x plus 2t right now by superpositioning principle we can say that y will be equal to y1 plus y2 now just putting the values of y1 and y2 in this equation we have 4 sin 3x minus 2t plus 4 sin 3x plus 2t that will be equal to 4 comes out as a common it will be 2 sin 3x cos 2t that will be converted into a trigonometry formula furthermore it will be equal to 8 sin 3x into cos 2t and the value for y will be equal to a cos omega t right where a will be equal to 8 sin 3x now it is given that two wave traveling in opposite direction produce a standing wave so we can say from here when the value of x equal to 2.3 centimeter then y will be equal to 8 sin 3 into 2.3 multiply by cos cos 2t right that will be equal to 4.63 cos 2t then y maximum will be equal to 4.63 that is cos maximum equal to 1 here the value of cos maximum will become 1 and it will be 4.63 right now we can say at not nodes intensity i will be equal to 0 so i is equal to a square from here we can say 8 sin 3x whole square equal to 0 that comes out to be sin 3x equal to 0 right and that comes out to be 3x equal to 0 for any value of n 2n and so on so value for x will be equal to 0 n by 3 2n by 3 and so on at anti node it is always formed between between two nodes 
in a standing wave right therefore x will be equal to pi by 6 pi by 2 or 5 pi by 6 that will be the answer for the given question for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today